Hello everyone and welcome to the second session of the day of Microsoft uh, Tech, Tech, Tech Day Pakistan 2024. So in this session, we will be discovering the future of productivity with Microsoft Copilots. There are so many Copilots are already uh, available in, on Microsoft platform. We will be discussing about a few of them and we'll see that how this will going to improve the productivity for all of us. And uh, Let me check if you can see my screen. Yeah. Okay. So my name is Adnan Amin, and I having over 18 years of experience of working on Microsoft technologies, and I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office app for M365 apps and services, and also working as a senior and technology consultant in Olive and Goose. I have core expertise on Microsoft 365. Uh, uh, SharePoint and uh, also on uh, have a coding uh, development expertise on .NET platform. I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer since 2009, and you can reach out to me on Twitter or, or you can. I also blog at msdeptop.com, so you can also reach out to me over pages on LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. So let's start. What we are going to do uh, in, in this uh, uh, to this session here. So we will be uh, looking to that what is a copilot in Microsoft, how it works, and then we will look to some of the known copilot uh, applying uh, copilots available in Microsoft platform like Microsoft 365 copilot, how it is useful for the, the organizations, SharePoint copilot, which comes up with SharePoint premium. Then we will also jump into uh, a little on uh, do some walkthrough demos on modern driven apps with the help of copilot. Uh, Power Automate and uh, custom copilots. How we can create our own custom copilot. These are too much for the for the day, but I will uh, give a quick walkthrough on all these. We will not be doing a deep dive into those, but when the walkthrough will give you an idea that what's available for you in the market and how easy it is uh, to play around with the copilot. So let's start here. That. Uh, Copilot combines the power of large language model where you have the data in, in, uh, in your files and it will generate uh, the information based on your existing content on your, your Microsoft 365 platform, in, in your team chat, on your emails, and, uh, and also fetch information with the help of Microsoft Graph. And it only access the information where you have, you have uh, the access. So, uh, so if there and uh, there are issues in which I have seen in the organizations that they uh, the users were able to fetch some information where they supposed not to have ac an access. But what happens in, the, in those scenarios that users uh, the, the permissions were not were not set up properly on the content, and but the content was uh, accessible uh, uh, for the user. So when they they are taking the help of uh, on the copilot. Copilot to fetch the information. So with the help of copilot, you will uh, also need to uh, establish the con to secure your content and how to access the copilot. Copilot is available uh, with the, there are some minimum requirements for the copilot, like it comes up with the E3 and E5 licenses. Uh, earlier, there was a uh, requirement for the 300 uh, uh, user licenses in a or in an organization, but it's now available for everyone with the organizations with a few users only, and also uh, with the organizations where you have uh, from, uh, for the personal accounts. Now. If we check this wheel, uh, there is a new wheel, uh, wheel already available, but uh, I will go with an uh, old wheel, which is shared by Microsoft a few, few months back. Here you will see that the copilot is showing up for the uh, for everything. Microsoft copilot is at the center. There are uh, copilots available for operating systems. You might have seen uh, Windows copilot, or you can also see the browser and search copilot with Bing. You you have seen. Uh, Chat GPT like stuff uh, on Bing that you can uh, coordinate with the copilot. So uh, I will stop here and we'll just uh, uh, say that what is copilot for you? Copilot, I would say, is just like a chat board which is, returns you the technical information, which can generate you documents, which can generate code for you, which can generate images for you, 
and in future we will be seeing that it will be generating videos based on your ideas what you are asking him and uh, and that will be the future i would say and uh, it um, technically help you a lot based on the practices available in, in the industry and also based on the content which you are sharing so that will be very helpful uh, uh, for you and uh, today uh, what we were looking uh, on in microsoft 365 platform uh, what happens that it will be the copilots help you to generate the information based on the data which already you have so if you have any information uh, you have policies and practices documents in your organization and you want to create a slide deck based on that microsoft 365 copilot help you on that you uh, and that's all on the fly and i will uh, also show you on a demo how things are easy on ma making that that side also for the business applications where you are going to create a new app or you need to generate an application but it what happens with the new newcomer they get stuck at the start at where to start what should we do what will be the key points for this application but uh, in case of copilot here yeah, copilot for business i will say you will just give him the instructions what you are looking for and uh, it will generate the application for you and this is not only uh, uh, improve the productivity and minimize the time effort and also help you learn a lot that what are the practices what need to be done on this application and i will also demonstrate this to you um, give you a walkthrough with how easy it is to create the business applications and uh, if i talk to you about sharepoint you can create the sharepoint site based on the content available in your organization or you want to you have some content all existing based on your branding it will generate the information based on your existing branding and those are very helpful and we will uh, also look look at this later on and one more thing if you can see this on the power platform you can you will see the copilot studio this will help you to create your own copilots so all these copilots are generally available to you but if there is a requirement for for you in your organization where you uh, you want to make your own copilot and why it is required the copilot is only written information for your in place based on uh, your company's data like uh, an employee join uh, comes to the copilot and asks what are the company policies or, or, or what is the onboarding process what is this where i can find this information so copilot will generate this, these informations and even you can uh, also customize it to perform different tasks like you want to submit a leave application or you uh, looking for uh, a procurement request or you have a you have an issue you submit it to the help desk so copilot will be submitting all those tasks for you and uh, uh, and also returning the information to you based on the information you are uh, submitting to the copilot this is how uh, we can and for this information we can create our own custom copilots let's jump in uh, here that how copilot is um, copilot is working here here i will i'm taking the example of microsoft 365 applications mm -hmm. you come to the microsoft word or slide deck uh, to create uh, and asking copilot to create a slide deck for the for customer abc based on the uh, meeting on, we did on on that on on last wednesday so what copilot will do it will uh, go to the microsoft graph here It will go to the Microsoft graph, uh, fetch them all the information which are required, and, and graph will only access the information where you have access. So it will generate the information and send back to the uh, LLM here on this one. And what LLM will do, it will uh, generate the response, and it might also require some more information from uh, from the graph. So it will send back the information back back to the graph uh, from here. And let me. It it will. It will get back the information back to the graph here, and and graph will send the response again to to LLM, and after once uh, it get get the required response from the from the graph, it will generate the information to your require output app. And uh, you you can also from the output app you can ask again uh, on, uh, to the copilot that uh, please 
uh, uh, submit the for me this is not the required output i need some changes and this circle will be going on again and again so this is how uh, our copilot is working in microsoft this is specific is showing for the microsoft 365 copilot but the same structure work for all other apps let me show you another architecture diagram uh, which recently uploaded by microsoft so this look a bit confusing but this specifically uh, showing it how all uh, co-pilots are working in microsoft uh, 365 you can see here bing or other plugins dataverse power platform services or copilot studio copilot okay uh, the uh, one more thing here people are also getting confusing with the copilot uh, uh, available uh, that's a separate app and also a service from microsoft which is just like chat gpt and generating info response based on your request but microsoft 365 copilot and these copilots are business oriented they are generating the information based on your information so this is how the copilot is fetching the information uh, from the using with the help of graphs and uh, with the help of uh, large language model it generating in the uh, it generating the output in the natural language and uh, um, and you are getting the response on your client application from where you ask the information. It can generate, um, in, if you are working in a Word document, it will generate content for you. It will uh, summarize the content for you, and it will also create tables based on the information, uh, data tables on, on informations in tableau format. So you will have multiple options uh, with uh, help of these co-pilots. Now, these are the few copilots I'm highlighting here, which are available with the Microsoft 365. But recently, I was looking, uh, Microsoft is continuously pushing uh, copilots. Uh, and uh, these are the known copilots which are available for some time now. And uh, I heard that there are over 150 copilots available from on the Microsoft platform. And the, yesterday, uh, I, I come to know that Microsoft also have introduced the copilot for OneDrive. And how that will help? That will help uh, you uh, to read the large document in a summarized way, to understand, the, uh, to create, to generate the information with the help of generative AI and uh, for creating new documents, new contents. And also, if you have emails, you can generate the documents with the help of emails on that. Um, the content shared on the email. And also, if uh, I give you an all, one more example, uh, from the sales perspective that you did a meeting with the customer, you have the meeting notes, so you can generate the uh, uh, the SAW, WBS, uh, uh, work background structure based on that uh, meeting minutes, and you do not do, need to do much effort. Copilot will do that, generate the information based on uh, the meeting notes for you, and you will understand that, and then you can further modify it based on your needs. Now let's move on to the copilots. Uh, that how the copilots are working. If I talk to you about Microsoft uh, uh, 365 copilot, it combines the power of large language models with your data uh, in the Microsoft uh, graph and the Microsoft 365 apps, uh, like all the Microsoft 365 apps, and turns your words into the powerful productivity tool. Uh, let's demonstrate it, how it will be available. For example, here on the examples I mentioned that Outlooks, uh, you can summarize a last large email thread because, you know, and also with the power automate and word. Let me share, uh, I have a demo tenant for Microsoft for the copilot here. So here, you, this is a demonstration tenant and I, if I open a word document here, I have created a couple of documents here. You can see here in the list of the documents here. I am here on the copilot and let's see it. it not showing me the copilot sign here. Okay, this is the copilot here. I will uh, ask the copilot, please. Generate the limits and SharePoint online and one drive for business. 
I'm just asking to write document for me for for the boundaries of Shepa Online and and OneDrive. Let's see how much time it. Right now, I do not have much content on my tenant, so this will go to the internet and will fetch the information from there. And if I have uh, internal content, and then it will be generating the information from the internal content also. So it's fetching the information and. Let's see, and then we can also customize the content with the help of Copilot. So if you come to me and ask me that I want to know about the about this specific scenario, I will just ask Copilot and it will generate the content for me. And I believe that most of you already have explored uh, this on the chat GPT also. So it's still writing uh, the information. OK. Finish up now. OK, I'm stopping it now. Let's see. Conclusion now. So it have generated a complete document for me. Now I will keep it. You know, well, I, if I need to make any changes, I, I can write it here. I am keeping it here. And now what I will do, I this is specific section. I will just select it, and I want some changes on it. I will click on Copilot to rewrite this thing or visualize as a table. I am going to visualize it as a table, and now you will see the magic here. So it also depends on the content which you are generating, how it highlights it. So you can see that it have generated the notes, the value and limits. So I can also organize this in a table format. So this is this is how uh, helpful this copilot in it. So I will go. I can save the changes to it. And if I go for the second copilot here. For example, I'm going to the PowerPoint here. And I will go to the copilot who will be shown up shortly. No, I will click on the copilot here. It's loading here. You can see there's an icon of the copilot here. And I will ask him. It will also give me some options here. That what you want to do, I will say that. Yes. I tech go ten slides on slide on boarding process. So I'm now generating a uh, ten slide deck on, on the employee on boarding process, and these are all nation language. So uh, it's a possibility that I am uh, not good in English or uh, unable to explain properly, but the copilot will understand what I mean to say, and it will process the request accordingly. We will just wait for a few seconds. Let's see. So here is my. Uh, case for the um, it has generated me the onboarding process here. This everything is on, on the fly, you can see. So similarly, if you have a sales document, you can generate the slide deck based on your uh, existing document or meeting notes also. So now you have so far seen the power of the uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now uh, we will jump into the. Another Copilot, which is for the SharePoint. So Copilot in uh, SharePoint turns your words into SharePoint sites and pages by combining the uh, again the uh, combining the power of LLM and the data uh, accessible through Microsoft Graph and uh, with the best practices for the web content uh, uh, creation. If you uh, if you can describe the site or page. Cop uh, for them to the copilot. Copilot in SharePoint will begin to create it for you and uh, then work with you to edit 
and refine it. Let's see a quick demo. Uh, I do not have the premium license yet, so I will uh, go for the uh, demo shared by Microsoft. Let's see here. It's going to create a copilot for the onboard uh, employee onboarding process for the managers. And there's a slide deck available and add a personal welcome note from the from a, from a user. I believe it's uh, the user here. You will see it's generated a, um, uh, a page in the site in the complete site for the user here with the help of the with the help of the slide deck and complete a complete site here. Now I will go to the next one here. I'm going to create a a page with the help of a document here. So it also using the employee onboarding process and submitting the information. Okay, I think I played the same video. Yeah, sorry, this one. This one is for the create uh, how Copilot can also help more for page authors for then turning uh, the existing content to SharePoint stunning pages here. Uh, as a web designer, Copilot takes your existing document or presentation and turns it into a page that leverages the uh, all the new announced uh, web design visuals. Here you can see that how we can change the interface for the uh, for the web parts here on the page. I'm keeping this one, and here it's going to change the uh, the look and feel for this specific web part with the help of Copilot. It will. Uh, it's giving some suggestions and um, and uh, apply the suggestion on the page. So now you can see uh, uh, as a future of the copilots how easy it is to uh, combine uh, the information on the shape and pages here. Just a second. OK, now I'm going to jump into the co-pilots in Power uh, Power Apps. Uh, Copilot in modern urban apps uh, in Power Pages is a great, is the next generation AI, uh, I would say, is a, uh, give you the capability uh, on modernizing the existing applications in uh, which are critical to the business applications. And one of the issue with existing applications, uh, if you are running an, some data in Excel or I would say, uh, what happens with the business person? They go to the application, but they want to know that uh, how this application will look like in different devices, like mobile devices or other pl platforms, and how much effort would be required for this one. So we will uh, do a quick demos, uh, two separate demos on creating a inventory app with the help of Copilot from the scratch, and also visualizing the data from Excel and generating a an, uh, power app with the, from an Excel sheet data. So I'm going to Copilot Studio here. Let me check the I'm going to the power app here. And so one thing, if you want to do some practice on the, on the power of power apps here, what you need to do. So what you you would need if you do not have a tenant here, you want to explore power apps and this stuff which I'm doing uh, doing today. So this is a new demo tenant and uh, I haven't explored things here, so I will uh, and you can you can go to the Microsoft 365, and uh, and there you can create a developer tenant for free for three months, and uh, and you can explore everything which I'm doing today. Uh, on the, not the copilot stuff in Microsoft 365, but uh, playing with the Power Automate, Power Apps, creating SharePoint sites, and also creating a copilot in a custom copilot, which I will be uh, showing up later on. I'm just doing it. 
Wait, that's going to do. Just give me a second here. Just give me a second. I'm just logging in here. Okay, I am here on the Power Automate on a different tenant here. So this is the interface for the Power Automate. And the, here you can see that it's showing me a central space for the just give me a second, let me open zoom it. So here you can see it's showing me the option for the, the asking copilot, giving option for the copilot, then how you can identify uh, or, or you can create an application and also giving some other options. Like start with data, uh, start with page design or start with an, with an app template. So I will go with the uh, start with app design here. I'm opening a folder here for the document. So you can see here either there's a list of documents and these all word documents I have created with the help of Copilot, Microsoft 365 Copilot here, and all have some amazing data, which I might be going to publish on my blog or on some uh, platforms here. And here I have a uh, Excel sheet for the ticket data. It has some data unlisted here as I will show you. And now we will see that the power of Copilot of converting this data to an application, which is running on, which is also mobile friendly and running on different devices. Okay. So I'm going back to the Copilot, went to the Excel data here, and it giving me the option to start with the, um, from upload a file. I click on it. I will go for my Excel here. It will take some time and it will generate the, it will create a data part. So based on the data available on Excel, Excel file here, you can see what happened and what what it has copilot has done that it created uh, and the information if i go to the status column here edit it you will see that it created the choices based on the, it automatically understand on the type of the field it's, if it's a choice it's repeating the values then it's a choice field and yeah you can see that it's showing me the values here as a label open resolve or close and also, if I go to the date, date field here, this will show it as a date field. So the copilot understands the values and creates uh, and data words and uh, set up the uh, and field types accordingly. And you can e easily create new columns here. You can make some changes here. I will create the app here. So if you have any previous experience with the uh, Power App before, and you will. Uh, Understand that how easy it is now with the help of Copilot.
Now app is generated here and I will uh, just click on the play button here. I can also move uh, the fields from uh, to other locations. I can make the changes on the forms here on the real time. And if I click on this, it has published the form and I can view all the changes here. And if I need to make any changes here, I will just click on edit. Whatever changes I want to make here, I can uh, make those changes and save it. And I can also add a new entry here. This um, marking that for the required fields here also. So I haven't done anything, any changes, and it uh, the Power uh, Copilot has did everything for me here. And I'm I'm not saving the changes here. Now, if I go to different views here, how it will look like in in uh, an iPhone screen here, or I I go to the how it will look like in a in a tab here, in different type of tabs here, or how it will look like in a canvas app. Different canvas sizes here. So you can see that the power of uh, the copilot, how easy it is to generate the copilot. And here further, you can ask instructions um, from the copilot to help the what I want to do these things. You can ask, you can have queries with the copilot also uh, on, on that platform. Now I am also going to create another copilot here. Based on the textual data which I am going to provide it. I want to. I want an app to track inventory in my musical instrument. So, so I did a spelling mistake. I'm not going to collect it. Let's see how it behaves here. You can see here I have written uh, a small line. And now uh, I'm what I'm expecting from the copilot, it will uh, generate a data set for it, table structure for it, and also an application for me. Let's see it generating. Uh, you can see here it generating the information from here and also giving you some suggestions that how to make further changes on uh, on it. So you can see here it generated the inventory uh, table for me here and uh, all the columns. Now I will go ahead to add another column here. Add column for color. So it will add a column for the color here on the screen. You can see this here. And it also fills some values here. You can see different values up here. Now I will ask him uh, give me a I'll see that what are the suggested columns for this inventory. So it have given me a list of columns which I can add further add to the to the list here to enhance my um, application for getting the maximum information. So now here you can see the power here that it have the. I just given some instructions of what I am looking for. It generated the fields. So here it comes for the newcomers also beginners also that they will understand it what information they would need for generating this application. So I am going to create the app here. And uh, if you see that we have started uh, 30 minutes, I think uh, almost 35 minutes. We have seen uh, created a word document or three page word document is then uh, 10 slides uh, power uh, uh, slide deck and created an application with the help of Excel file. And now we're going to create an inventory application within um, Power Automate. This all in just 20 minutes. 
So now you will understand the power of Copilot is going to be in future and how it can improve the productivity for your organizations. So the app is generated. This is similar to our previous application and we can make the changes in on the real time here. I am just updating the inventory here for the quantity. I don't see. Making some changes here. And you can see that how easy it is to navigate to different uh, inventories here. And um, I can add a new one. I can search it from the here. And also the same thing which I have shown you earlier that we have uh, uh, different interfaces to test it how this application will look on different interfaces here. And let me check one more option. I'm not sure uh, that is activated on my this demo tenant here. Let me check it first. I will go to these settings here. There's an option where there's an option plugin which is Microsoft recently introduced on the Copilot uh, Copilot for uh, model driven apps for the Copilot. You can add a Copilot plugin within your app also, which will help you query different stuff from the app also from your inventory. I will check for that. Upcoming features. Let me see if there's a feature available for the Copilot. Chatbot is here, but chatbot is different. Oh, I don't think. Okay, that feature is not listed up out here, but otherwise what I need to do, I just need to do to add the copilot here that that will add the chat box like screen here. Let me show you how that will look like. For example, I'm just moving uh, the structure of the my screen. So you will see you have noticed that I just uh, shortened this the width of the application. It automatically adjusted the columns on, on the page. And I'm going to on the insert here. You will see. And. Uh, like this is the chatbot here. I'm adding it here. So. Uh, Similarly, the chatbot, there's also a chatbot for the, it's showing me the existing chatbot, which I, I have written on this demo tenant, but for the copilot, it will uh, show me the copilot uh, data sources to be connected, where I can define uh, my data source for the, uh, for the inventory here, like this one. This is my inventory data source. I can just define it. And when I query the copilot that uh, how many, which is the most expensive item on my inventory, it will show me that this item and uh, link the item that this item is uh, the most expensive item in the inventory. So I can query different stuff in natural language and that copilot within my application will be returning the information on real time. So far we went to the uh, copilot in in um, power power apps. Now we will go to the copilots in Power Automate. How uh, you can create a uh, flow based on this scenario um, in natural language. The what copilot will do? It will auto sets the connections of the uh, components which are required. It will also set up the variables which um, which in the copilot things can configure um, within the applications and. Uh, if you need any step by step uh, guidance uh, while you're working on on a copilot it will also help you on that how uh, for example how can i add a condition and how can i create send an email or create a list item it will give you the steps that how you can do those jobs let's uh, do a quick deep, uh, dive into it So I am on my copilot here and we'll go to the our automate. I think me it's the environment is changed here. It's a make.powerautomate.com. Earlier it was flow.microsoft.com. So the URLs are also getting changed.
Now, what, uh, what is Power Automate? This is used for business processes, creating your own business processes and automating those processes and connecting it with different uh, external sources. So here I have a scenario that I have a Microsoft form. Microsoft forms are used for the surveys and questionnaires. Uh, for example, I have um, uh, that can be used by the sign-in users only or can be for anonymous users. So I have a scenario, I'm discussing a scenario that I want a, uh, I want to create a power automate flow where uh, it takes the inform whenever a form is submitted, it triggers the flow and submit fetch information and submit it to a SharePoint list. So let's see how that will go. I'm going to the home page of the Power Automate. Here is my copilot section here. You can see here. There are so many other areas in Power Automate uh, with the help of copilots, but we are just um, doing a basic instructions on this. So here you can see that it giving me different instructions that what type of copilot I can create here. That um, every month copy um, file copying one uh, file from one drive or copying data from one Excel file to other Excel file or creating a list item or sending an email. So I will I'm going to the copilot and ask something uh, relevant and you can also see giving also start giving me some suggestions. So I'm giving it saying it as create a. Flow which. Flow which. Triggers when a Microsoft form is submitted. Submitted. Fetch the form information and create a new SharePoint. List item with that information. I've just written some text here. There could be some spelling mistakes, or there could also be uh, some grammatical errors, but it will understand automatically. It also giving me some suggestions, but I'm going with my my sentence. Yeah. So you can see here it's shown. It's showing me. It giving. It's showing me the connections and the suggestions flow that it will trigger when a response is submitted on a Microsoft forms and it will and, and there will be two actions here that it will get the response with the help of uh, this Microsoft forms activity and then create a shape and list item. If I mention it to send also send an email, it will also add that activity. I will go and create next. Now it automatically create the connections for, uh, for the user, logged in user. It created the connections here and I will go to create a flow here. So whenever uh, there are also templates available for similar activities, but with the flow you can define your scenario and it will uh, create the most. Uh, uh, possible uh, way out for you on the form here. So here I haven't selected any form here. If I select a form here for, from my existing data here. Like employee data, for example, any form here. And if I go to the response here, you can see here it already have the. Uh, and the fields selected here and also it, it have the form ID parameter. It already filled the properties from based on the previous activity. And now here on the SharePoint, it has some information uh, pulled up, but it do not know which site where what is the site name, what is the list column, um, what is the list name in SharePoint and what are, would be the fields and, uh, where it will uh, attach those uh, in those very values. So it's very easy to create the copilots and I will just share a site name here with the copilot. Like. At your drive, I will it will show me all the lists under this site. And for example, I'm just uh, I'm just selecting some random informations here, and this will show me all the columns in the list. I will click show all, and if I go there and click on this button, it will show me the form fields here. Just a minute. 
I need to select the form again. And we'll go this to this one. And this is the new interface for the Power Automate. Now it's showing me all the fields here which are fetch up, fetch up from this form. Like email name, I can just save it here and we'll save the, some changes here. When I submit the information, it will save this information to the SharePoint list. This is how the copilot, and I, here I can also send it how to send an email. You will see that it will also suggest me that how to send an email uh, on the site, that which activity should I use and uh, uh, start work, uh, start explaining my flow based on my business requirements. Now jumping back to the right here. So we have seen uh, so far that how Power Automate works with Copilot working in Power Automate, Copilot working in Model Driven App, in Microsoft 365 and SharePoint. Now, uh, if we have a requirement for creating our own custom Copilot, what it can do? It can um, search from, it can search information from a public site. It can also search the information from a SharePoint site, or you can also upload documents. And with the power of generative AI, it will generate the information for you. And uh, you can deploy it on your teams. You can, uh, pro you need to define the authentication if you are using the SharePoint site so that user can only fetch the information uh, uh, assigned to, to, to them. Now let's jump into the copilots, custom copilots here. For the custom copilots, you need to go to the copilot studio. This is the copilot studio here. Dot Microsoft.com. And the, the topics which I am discussing to do today, and these are all uh, each is a separate to, uh, session topic, uh, but we are just I am just giving you a quick walkthrough on those. So copilot studio dot Microsoft.com. Here uh, I'm going to create my a new copilot here. I just name it as Tech Day Copilot. And here I can define uh, any website. I can write Microsoft.com and it can also fetch information from Microsoft.com also. Let me uh, just add it here, a uh, public site. I'm adding here, msx.com. My blog address here, and we create the copilot. Let's see the power of copilot here. It will take uh, just a minute or maybe less than that for creating the copilot. Maybe and Copilot is a bit angry with me. No. So the Copilot is generated here. And if I go to the, it's showing me the generative AI option here. If I go to this generative AI, it's showing me the two sides. I think I went to another Copilot. Okay, this is the Tag Day Copilot here. And if I go to the, Am I on the same copilot? Take the. This something went wrong. It should not show this uh, HR side here because I have uh, created this in for this for previously for another demo. Let me remove this one. Let me go to the settings here. We don't know why this it has added this uh, copilot because I haven't provided this information, but I have provided this information for the msstechtalk.com, my personal blog, and I can ask the user to search some information from that blog. And uh, for this one, I, I and I can uh, add four more sites on, on here. Like uh, if I search it, tell me how to get one drive. 
URL. You can see here I have mentioned here how to get one tribe URL. So let's see how it works. So here, it, if it's showing two sites, it will be navigating to these two data sources and fetching the information. I'm almost uh, at on time here. You can see here something went wrong. OK, there's some issue on this one. I think something is not working. Let me show you a, an existing demo quickly. Like I have this uh, HR Copilot here, which I played it, uh, uh, I think, a week before. And it also have the similar site structures. And here I have added that uh, on SharePoint site. Now, if I go there and ask for the how to get right URL, and normally it works on the fly. Things could happen on the uh, on the runtime demos, and you will see that it will fetch some information uh, based on on the information shared on these two sites. So let me show you. You can see that it generated information from uh, some information. This is not the exact information which is shared on that uh, site. It just uh, compile it and uh, and transform it to a natural language. And if I show you the link here, I'm I'm on the that link, and you can see here it fetching information from this site. And if I click on this one, it will take me to the uh, exact blog post here. And here I can also upload some documents. I can drag and drop documents here, and uh, uh, and it will just uh, will save the changes, and it will start working on those. Now I think I'm on time here, and uh, let me know if you have any questions here, which I need to answer. I don't see any questions here and thank you so much and, uh, for attending the session and the, we will also upload the recordings uh, to the Tech Day Pakistan YouTube channel. So uh, if you miss anything, you can uh, also review the trainings there and, uh, and reach out to me on my And you can also reach out to me on my social platforms on on Twitter or also on LinkedIn. Also, you can search me on LinkedIn also, and uh, which uh, I will be helping. Uh, happy to help you out on any of these things. Thank you.